right, so this is a continuation of the last video, but I need to separate it in two videos because it's going to get too long. So right here I have my 2015 Horse River Cherokee Gray Wolf Toy Hauler. Uh, this thing, I've had it on quite a few trips. Honestly, it's amazing to have out whenever you're doing what you're doing. But today, I need to get two things done. I got a second battery up here. I gotta get made up and put attached to the regular battery. And then I also have a backup camera back here. Uh, this is already prepped for a Furion system. I was looking into the Furion, but I ended up going with a Ruon kit, Ruhan, something like that. And uh, looks like a really good kit, so it's already it's made for Furion prep, so I ended up getting that off of Amazon. Got the Z right here. Just got done doing the video on that. So Rowan. So it has a pretty nice quality camera. Has all the mounting brackets and everything for it. Uh, screen and it's an Amazon special. I don't know really what to expect. Uh, and I got a bunch of adapters and stuff in here that I need to get attached up to it. And then I gotta get the pickup truck pulled over and situated with that so that I can get all that hooked up and connected so that I'm ready to go whenever I get it back there. So I'm gonna put you guys on uh, time lapse as I'm pulling off all this camera stuff and try to figure it out. So I'll be back here shortly. All right, so I gotta put it on there. Uh, I gotta figure out something to do with the wiring. I can't get the wiring tucked in there very well. It's out of the way of the door now. I gotta check that the camera's out of the way of the door as well. But, uh, should hopefully be good enough. And uh, I'll be able to have backup camera while I'm backing up. Uh, I gotta get this, my truck pulled over here and get this and my truck paired up with the monitor so that I can go from there. Alright, I'll be back in a second. Alright, so I do a little bit of a change up. I had to take off the original Purion mount because it was going to hit the, the cameras hitting the actual gate. So uh, now I got that put on there. I zip tied the wires up for now until I can figure out what to do with them. I'm going to try to get them fed back into the, the camper itself and go from there. But uh, I got the truck pulled over. I'm gonna get the uh, monitor installed in the truck real quick. And then I'm gonna test it out. All right, be back. All right, so I got the monitor stuck to the window. Let's get this little piece of tape pulled off. I think it's a little sticky tape, maybe. All right, well that's not, that's not doing anything. Uh, I got the antenna right here. I'm gonna point that down because it's hitting the windshield. Uh, just got it running off of a power port here. Not anything real ridiculous. So let's test it out. Let's see. So, just put it on ACC. good with that on this I'm gonna get everything packed up on that and then I'm gonna get to installing this uh, new battery that I have so let's 
go ahead and see what happens later. So that shuts off. Okay. So in order for that to work, I gotta have it lights on at all times. So uh, that so that whole wiring deal is gonna eventually go to that, but I gotta get a new charger set up on it and this works for now, so I'm just gonna run it like that and at least I can get the half open back. So give me a little bit, I'm gonna get this truck disconnected and moved out of the way and then we can get to the tongue of the trailer and go from there. Alright. Alright, so pretty simple what I'm gonna do here. I got some 10 gauge primary wire. Uh, this should be plenty to, uh, this is just a reserve battery I'm putting on here, not a main supply battery. This should be plenty to do what I'm looking to do with it. Uh, I got some ring terminals for it as well. Uh, and I already got the battery over here. So I got a Moco box put in there already and batteries in, just adding it up. This just deep cycle I got my work and should be pretty simple. I'm just going to take a positive and negative and move it to that battery, attach it onto where those terminals are, and it's pretty much a done deal. Uh, as simple as it can get, and then good to go. And then I got the strap, it fell out, it's underneath the camper, but the strap will go around and strap it down. That way, if I ever need to, I can pull this battery off. I don't want to permanently mount it like the other one is. That way, if I need to ever take this battery off, it's going to be simple enough to take it off. So, all right, uh, I'm gonna get to starting to make up these wires. I'm gonna put you guys on time lapse, and we'll go from there. Alright, so I got my wires all done up here, as you see in the time lapse. Uh, got them all heat shrunk up, all crimped up, and everything from there. I am going to move over here and install these wires on here and get that battery held down. Alright, and also, uh, something else I didn't notice until now. Got a nice little lake in there. I'm gonna have to put a drainage hole on the bottom of it somewhere. So, I gotta drain that out before it freezes for the winter and cracks the battery or the box. So, should be fun. All right, I'll be back. All right, got that all installed on there. Good to go. Uh, the only other thing that I wanted to get done is this light right here needs to be replaced. I got a new light coming for it. Probably gonna replace that one and that one up there. I got LED lights coming. Um, they look kind of like a light bar, they're real awkward looking. But, uh, camera's all on there. I checked on there, so we're good to go on there. Uh, this thing's a bit of a mess right now. I ended up, uh, I think the first video I actually had on the channel, there used to be a shelf on that wall. I pulled that shelf down, it looks exactly like this one. I may do the same with this shelf before we leave. I'm not entirely sure. I got a new cage on order for the, the YXZ and it's gonna be a little bit wider than stock and I was having issues where I was rubbing on this uh, coming in and out because you can see right down there if you look it actually sticks out past the door so I don't think I'm gonna have an issue with coming up and getting into the getting into the toy hauler but I think these are gonna have to go so I got rid of that one for sure because I was 100% rubbing as I was going down the road, it was shimmying that way and ended up uh, pretty much sitting on that wall over there. Uh, this one right here, I haven't decided yet after this trip. I may pull it out, I may pull it up before then. But yeah, this whole <laughs> this whole thing's a kind of a disaster right now because I'm in the middle of doing all that. I, and I, got, I had to go through and check my furnace, make sure it works because it's gonna be kind of chilly down there. Had to, pull the bedding off and uh, get some new bedding put on and you go through all get rid of all the food that was in here just bread and stuff that's been left in here so uh yeah 
just get all cleaning on this and get it ready. So from there guys, closed. Thanks for watching. If you like this kind of content, like, comment, subscribe. I will be having new videos coming up of riding hopefully next week. Uh, at that point, I'm planning on doing a lot more riding. Uh, we just got to deal with uh, right now hunt season in PA. So kind of have to go to parks and stuff like that at that point. We should have a good bit of toy runs this year as well. So yeah, uh, once the new cage comes in, it's probably seven, eight weeks out. I'll have a video on that as well. Probably gonna end up having to adapt the windshield and in the front and the windshield in the rear. Uh, so you may see whenever we get the hat build that the sides are put on the uh, the vinyl and cab enclosure. This might be on at that point. Um, it's supposed to be pretty cold down there, 30s, 40s, and we're gonna be riding water, snow, who knows. So I may hit bring them along. I'm definitely bringing them along and may end up putting them on while we're down there. So other than that, I appreciate you guys coming along for this little video I'm putting out here. So have a good one and like, comment, subscribe. Like I said, have a good day. Side by side mafia. Bye.